right, well, I'm just about where um, the map says the campsite is. Oh, I think it's right here. I'm totally on the opposite side, I think, of getting any sunshine. <laughs> Uh, I think this is actually the landing right here, but I'm going to go around the front and take a look first. See two of my fine feathered white seagull friends are over there. Not, not my favorite. Alright, I think this is it. Wow, this is pretty fancy. Holy smokes. Look at this place. <laughs> um, part of the reason that I kind of passed on that campsite on the shore. Um, wasn't gonna get sunshine either. Um, I might actually get some here. There's a nice big open area in the middle. Um, but the sun is over there somewhere. It's noon, so it'll probably go something like that. Uh, this is pretty uh, amazing. <laughs> um, lots and lots of spots for my tent. Um, and again, here, see, if the sun is here, I can just come over to this side of the island, if it comes out. I don't know right now, the wind is picking up a lot, so I wanted something sheltered, and that is the other reason I didn't pick that one on the shore, because it just looked like a big rock out there in the middle of nowhere. This, um, you know, the wind's coming through, but uh, there's still trees all around and stuff. There's some protection. There's a grouse here. He's just walked away from me. But he totally startled me. Oh my gosh, and I see a privy. The grouse showed me what it was. Where are you, buddy? He's pretty cool looking. Look at that one. Wow, that's so pretty cool ability to disappear out of the corner of my eye. I thought I saw a toilet seat. I did. Look at this. Thunderbox with a view. My first privy of the trip. My last night. Look at that. I don't know what that piece of wood is for, but <laughs> it's even got a toilet seat on it. the view. <laughs> Anybody paddling by can definitely see you, but if they are, I don't know. I gotta say that this makes me very, very happy. <laughs> Even though it's the last night, I haven't had a privy the whole time, but it's very, very nice to see one, and I really wish you guys would have seen that grouse. <laughs> I don't know where he went to, but Anyway, all right, I've got a privy with the toilet seat on it. That just made my day. Well, because the weather's feeling a little funky, um, I'm gonna set up in reverse today. Uh, just what I did this morning. Uh, tarp first over the fire pit, put the chair up so I have a place to sit. Uh, I'm gonna put the tent right here. I just kind of cleared all the sticks and crap out. And uh, the privy is like way over there, but that's okay. I'm just gonna be mostly in this small area and it should be good. Well, it's raining. <laughs> All right, it is 10 after one. Uh, I set up the tarp, I set up the tent. I blew up the thermorest and my pillow. I put my sleeping bag in there, put all my stuff in there. I was just about to come over here and make some lunch. Um, I did pack a Nutella wrap for today, but uh, it's the last in the Nutella and I wanted to save it for tomorrow because I know if I have it uh, for tomorrow, I'll eat it. Um, and if I'm gonna try to make a tuna wrap tomorrow, I won't. But I'm already at camp, so making a tuna wrap for me today is much easier. So, um, it started pouring. It was literally raining sideways. The wind was blowing. Like, the, the lake was all misty and, like, it was just a nasty, nasty rain. Um, sideways, pouring, everything. So, I went in the tent. 
Um, the chair was actually even getting wet, so I brought that into the vestibule with me. Um, I changed my clothes because all my clothes uh, were wet and damp and um, my rain pants and took everything off, put some dry clothes on and um, then the rain stopped. So now I'm going to make my lunch. All right, there's my wrap all made up. Um, and I am ready to eat. It has stopped raining again. <laughs> so I'm um, just sitting out here uh, enjoying the beautiful view and um, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch in a minute. I'm hungry. Well, it's two o'clock and I'm back in the tent and by the time I took the video, the rain stopped, but it was raining a lot. Um, I was trying to get stuff organized and then it stopped raining again. I was out there, I made my tuna wrap, I ate it, it was so good. Um, and then I wanted something else, so um, I don't have too many desserty type things. I didn't bring any chocolate bars or anything, so uh, I took a spoon and some peanut butter and put some chocolate chips in it and had a little dessert. And uh, I drank some water and then it started pouring <laughs> again. So um, I grabbed my stuff and I'm like, screw this. I was cold. I was sitting there staring at this beautiful fire pit and I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna go in the tent and read. I'm not gonna go sit in my sleeping bag. I'm gonna go collect some firewood. It stopped raining. I'm gonna collect some firewood. I'm gonna sit here by a nice warm fire, read my book, uh, getting, getting the firewood, prepping the firewood and doing all those things will make me warm and then the fire will make me warm, so I'll be fine. And then as soon as I like got up to start doing stuff, it started pouring and it was pouring a lot again. So um, I said, screw this. So I came in the tent and now I'm sitting here in my sleeping bag. Um, and now it stopped raining again by the time I filmed this video. Um, so it's kind of pissing me off a little bit. Um, it's like the third time that I've gone out and then come back in and then gone out and come back in. Um, I know I have the tarp set up, up out there, but I'm not wearing my rain pants right now. I'm wearing my sleeping tights because my rain pants are wet and I was really cold and I needed to get the wet stuff off. So um, I've just got, I've got stuff hanging up all inside my tent here trying to dry a little bit and um, I'll put them back on and then I can go back outside. I just, I didn't want to get my sleeping tights wet. Um, anyways, I'm gonna read for a little bit and I'll see what happens. If it, if it gets nice out, then I'll go back outside. <laughs> well, it's about 3.30 and um, it's still raining. Super, super windy. You can hear it going all through the trees, through the forest. Um, I think it's coming from the south. Um, and I'm on the northern tip of the island, so um, I think that a lot of the forest is blocking it, so I'm not getting nailed with a lot of it. Um, but you can hear it just howling through the trees and raining and raining some more. I saw the sun come out for a little while there, and I was tempted. I was like, oh, it's sunny outside. I'm going to go out and sit in the sun and warm up. And uh, no sooner did I think about doing it, and the sun went away. So I kept an eye on it for a while and it just kept coming and going and coming and going. And then it stayed out for a bit and I said, okay, I'm gonna go, I'll take a look. And I opened the door and that's when it started raining again. Oh yeah, because my tent, my tent is like caving in on the side here. It's really windy, it's yucky out. Well, look who joined the party today. Oh. It's about time, buddy. It's still very windy and it's a cool wind, but I am sitting here in the sunshine and I am a happy, happy girl. Toasty warm. It's been like a half an hour and there's only been one small cloud covering the sun so far. I'm so excited. It looks like it's all blue down there, but you never know. Uh, I'm gonna take it while I can get it. I've gone from uh, a tank top, a long sleeve and a fleecy to shorts and a tank top. <laughs> I think I'm upside down. Oh yeah, I'm also pretty sure I'm gonna be able to see the sunset. I think it's gonna go down like right about over there and from the rocks out there I should be able to get a nice picture. I'm pretty pleased even though this campsite isn't facing the Sun when the Sun does come out um, I have lots of options I've just been 
moving my chair <laughs> all over this area here whenever it hits a tree. See, it just hit a cloud, but just keep moving over different spots every half hour or so. And so far I'm nice and toasty warm sitting here in the sunshine. It's great. Oh, it's quarter after five and the clouds came back. Took away all my sun. I had to put more clothes on again. <laughs> And the wind is starting to gust again. Must be another storm rolling in. I should make dinner soon. All right, I've got one cup of water in the pot and it's boiling. I've got some Alpine Air creamy beef and noodles with mushrooms. I like this one a lot. I've had it a few times. Um, dinner is going to be very difficult tonight. My last meal of the trip. Um, last dinner of the trip. Uh, pour the water in the bag, stir, wait 10 to 12 minutes, and eat. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. And uh, the water's boiling, so in it goes. Oh, just to note, this is half the package. That's why it's only one cup of water. It's normally two, but I took half of it out. All right, waiting. The timer went off and oh, it's so hard to show you because these bags are like so big. I hate them, honestly. Um, you get your hand all mucked up. I'm going to try to fold it over awkwardly and then I'll probably spill a bunch. But um, that's what it looks like. And I'm going to go eat and I will see you later. I'm sitting here happy the sun keeps coming out and I'm listening to some music I was sitting up there under the tarp but um the sun was still coming in under there it was lovely and I kept hearing some weird rumbling noise I didn't know <laughs> I look back here and there's like these dark nasty clouds and it's like thundering so I just packed up everything once again <laughs> I just finished eating anyways. I brushed my teeth, I did my deodorant, um, all that kind of stuff. So um, got the bear vault all organized for tomorrow. And uh, I had the canoe out because I'm pretty sure the sun's gonna go down right here. And I was gonna set it up for a nice picture. Um, but I don't know what's gonna happen there. <laughs> That's gonna happen. It's still a little bit before the sun goes down. And uh, this is all on the other side, so I don't know if I'm going to get this. The dark clouds start right about there, and they're going that way. Uh, so maybe it'll miss me. I don't miss it. <laughs> all right, well, now I flip my chair around from sitting in the sun to watching the potential storm. Yeah, the sun wins again. Woohoo! Those clouds are angry. I was like, well, I was nervous. I moved the canoe up here and put it up in the trees and tied it up. It was out here tied up. I mean, it's still tied up in the same place, but I don't like it out here. Too exposed, thanks. Oh, look at how dark the sky is compared to how bright the sun is. Such a contrast. It's beautiful. Get it tonight. <laughs> Hello. Here comes the rain. <laughs> Here it comes the game. No thunder and lightning though. Just really crazy wind. Oh, and there's the sun. Nice job, buddy. The angry clouds are above. I am heading to my tent. It is probably going to start raining any minute. I'm trying to see it cross, come across the lake. 
Um, seen that happen a few times in Algonquin um, and Tomogamy. Uh, it's always pretty cool to see it, but I don't see it yet, which is surprising. It's quarter to seven, still not raining, and it looks like it might be clearing up underneath all those dark clouds where the sun is going down or where it's supposed to go down. I don't know if it's going to make it, but there still might be a show. Let's wait and see. Well, it's seven o'clock. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> Had all those winds, all those dark clouds, and it's so windy, as you can hear. And no rain, no storm, no lightning, no thunder, nothing. And now it looks like, again, not complaining, that the sky is clearing up. Just time for my sunset. 7.04, <laughs> the sun is back out. <laughs> Do I open up my chair one more time? I think I'm just gonna go sit on those rocks for a bit and watch the sun go down. Oh, well, the sun has gone down and it uh, looks like there's some more dark clouds starting uh, on the horizon there coming up over the trees um, and one here and uh, had blue skies for a little while had some sunshine again um, sat out on the rock here and enjoyed the sunset and um, I'll come back and check in a little bit see if there's any colors but uh, I have a feeling those clouds are gonna come over and mess things up but I don't know we'll see Oh, now the wind's starting to pick up again. I wonder if all those other clouds were just like the warning clouds for the big angry papa cloud coming up over the trees. Look at that thing. I'm scared to see the rest of it. And then over in this corner here, you know, the sunset's trying to go on. It's like, oh, look at me. I'm all pretty and peach and rose and white and baby blue and <laughs> angry cloud. <laughs> Lots of black and gray clouds lined with white and pink. It's actually quite pretty. Well, it's 8.26 and uh, I'm all comfy cozy in my bed. Uh, I'm going to read for a little bit and then I'm probably going to go to sleep. Um, it's just starting to rain right now. Uh, nothing else happened with the sunset. I did check. I just kind of opened the door and stuck my head out, but nothing going on. So, um, really awesome day. Uh, decent portages today. Much easier to find. Trails in much better condition, but still pretty crazy. Um, and tomorrow I know what's coming, so I'm probably not going to film a ton tomorrow. Um, but who knows, maybe I'll uh, run into a wolf or a moose or a fox or a lynx or you never know. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep soon after I read for a bit and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Well, good morning. <laughs> it is 5.40 a.m. <laughs> You can't even see uh, much of anything. There's some stars out. The sky looks really clear and it's not raining. Um, I just made my oatmeal and brought all my stuff over to the tent. Um, and I'm starting to eat my oatmeal while I pack up my stuff. I'm planning to hit the water, hopefully as soon as daylight hits, and uh, make my way through. Well, it's five after six. Uh, sky is starting to lighten a little bit. I'm just finishing packing up the tent and uh, have to do the tarp. And by the time I'm done that, hopefully um, it will be light and I can head out. Uh, I'm just going over there. Uh, I'm not going far. And then I have that 200 meter first I have to pull up over the beaver dam. And uh, then I'm on Kurt and then I have that big portage. So that's where I'm trying to get to and get done. 
Uh, there's a bunch of fog starting to roll in, um, which could make it difficult for me, but I do have my GPS, so, and again, I just have to go over there, um, so it shouldn't be too hard to find it. Look at this fog rolling in. It's just like a wall. Oh, good morning. It is 6.30. I am here on Turner Lake, and uh, the sun is just starting to not really rise. There's fog here, um, but uh, I'm all packed up and ready to go. So, um, there's my boat. It looks so beautiful sitting there, and uh, I'm going to get going. Hopefully it's a great day. All right, it is 6.36 and I am on the water. Mixed feelings this morning, last uh, day of the trip, heading out today. It's a really, really awesome trip. Didn't see barely any people. Um, just the two that were looking for a site yesterday. And uh, the guy in the creek on Friday morning. So really remote, really, really great trip. Very hard, but uh, so awesome. Well, in no time at all, I have made it over to um, where the start of the portage is. I'm still thinking about possibly going through those grasses, but uh, I just feel like it would be a disaster. I'd rather just go and do what I know already and uh, not worry about it, but I'm going to take a look and see what this drop is like or this lift is like one more time I might be maybe a little bit wrong in my mind so just want to make sure it's doable all right oh it's like a half a meter maybe <laughs> done a bunch of them so I wasn't quite sure but look it's only like a half a meter up no biggie camera running but my phone's gonna fall over for sure so chest cam activated forgot about that this trip <laughs> all right mr beaver dam huh, let's go oh yeah it's like a half a meter maybe Easier than going through those grasses, I guarantee you. All right. Oops. We'll slid off the beaver dam. There we go. Done and done. All right. Next. Next obstacle. <laughs> All right. It is five to seven, and I am on the portage from Turner into Kurt, and. Uh, Forgot about this boulder garden. <laughs> oh. Still a little bit dark in the forest. Um, I didn't think about that, but I have done this before, so that's enough. I can see, like, it's not that dark, but um, I used my headlamp at camp right until like five minutes before I left to back up my stuff. Everything was packed up in the with the headlamp this morning because it was dark. All right, in no time at all, I've made it to Kurt Lake with the pack. I'm just gonna go grab back and grab the canoe and uh, we get to go. All right, it is five after seven and I am on Kurt Lake. Knocked out that portage pretty quickly. Fairly easy. Now I'm on to the dreaded one I've been thinking about all weekend. All right, it's 10 after seven. And I have arrived at the dreaded portage. 1300 meters on Jeff's map, 1250. 1100 meters on the FOT map. About 1500 meters in my mind. All right, it is quarter after seven, and I have got the pack. 
I'm not sure why I didn't take the canoe first. I guess I could have. But I uh, have to take it sooner or later. <sighs> uh, it's 7.30 and I have made it to the pond in the middle of the portage uh, in only 15 minutes with the pack. So that's good. I've already approved my time by five minutes. <laughs> um, but I am on fresh legs. I'm going to put the pack down right here and I'm going to go get the canoe. Really great trail. Um, it's been uh, another 15 minutes uh, since I left the pack at the pond. Oh, looks like the sun has come up since I've been out in the forest playing on the trail. Unfortunately, I can't see it, uh, but that's okay. All right, it is 7.47. Took me a couple minutes to get the yoke on. Um, the one side is not uh, super stable. It's moving a little bit. Um, hopefully, I don't have any issues, but there's not much I can do about it. Well, I found the sun. It's in the pond. <laughs> Oh, 15 minutes later and I made it with the canoe. Pretty happy about that. Uh, just got to cross the pond now and then I'll continue the rest of the way with the pack. I was just about to get in the boat to uh, do my big long paddle. I don't know if you can see these. I think you can. Absolutely beautiful spider webs on this tree and the sun is just hitting them right that you can actually see them out here. It's really, really cool. All right, I'm off to do my big paddle across the pond here. All right, it is 8.12. I have got the canoe on the other side of the pond. I set up the canoe for portaging. And uh, now I am making my way through the rest of the portage with the pack. Uh, I don't remember much about this part. I just... Uh, Remember that it took me about 10 minutes. So, hopefully it takes me about the same. And uh, in a half an hour, I will be done with this portage. And that is gonna make me a happy girl. <laughs> I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Really uh, nice, even, a couple of gnarly spots and some closed in sections, but Overall, very, very, very good. Very, very, very good. All right. Woo. Gotta watch out for those roots. They're the slipperiest things out here. There we go. Straight downhill. All right. Took me exactly 10 minutes with the pack. Uh, actually, nine minutes, but I don't want to be that particular. And uh, I'm back at Eagle Lake. Woohoo! I'm oh, so happy. I just have to go go get my canoe. Just wanted to come down and get a shot of the sun. It's nice. Okay. Yeah. 8.43. Just under uh, one and a half hours this time to do this portage. Uh, it took me f five minutes short of two hours to do it on Friday, so... um feel a lot better about that. Um, I definitely cut a little bit of time off my day today. Uh, I'm just going to load up the canoe here. And I've got about, uh, I think, a kilometer and a half or so of paddling through Eagle Lake uh, to get to the next portage, uh, which is listed between, a, I think, a 240 and a 400, depending on which map you're looking at. All right, it is 8.45, and I am on Eagle Lake. I am a happy girl right now. The sun is shining. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. I uh, wish I would have had this yesterday or one of the other days. The weather wasn't too bad, but it would have been nice if it was a little sunnier and warmer, but that's okay. Well, I'm just about at the portage. Uh, it will take me into Little Eagle. Um, Jeff's map says it's a 260. The FOT map says it's a 400. Uh, I was hoping to see some moose in here. This swampy area. I thought I saw one, but I didn't. Oh well, such is life. 
All right, I found my little landing. There it is. <laughs> right where I left it. Well, it's quarter after nine, and uh, I'm going to say goodbye to Eagle Lake now. Um, got the canoe all ready to go. I'm going to take it first just for fun. And uh, heading through the 260-400 meter portage into Little Eagle. Well, I made it to the other end of the portage. Um, I was really quiet at the end there because I was hoping to see a moose or something here, but no such luck. Um, I was also going to comment on how I don't think that's a, a 400 because <laughs> it seemed really short to me. Um, and when I looked at my phone, it had taken me 15 minutes to do it. <laughs> which I didn't feel like that at all. I'm really glad I took the canoe first. Um, I had a really bad wipeout. Um, probably one of the, the worst wipeouts I've had. Uh, I've had quite a few in my lifetime, but I mean, it wasn't bad as far as hurting myself. Just a uh, total face plant. And uh, I'll show you where that happened and tell you what happened when I get there. Same same damn tree that caused me problems on Friday. Little bugger. All right, there's the bugger right there. So I was walking with the canoe, first of all, Friday, smacked right into it, like I was just booting along. Bam, that's how I got the bruise on my shoulder. Today, I was coming from the other direction. I'm like, keep an eye out for the log, keep an eye out for the log. And I saw it, so I bent down. And I started getting lower and lower and crouching and squatting. And then this guy, <laughs> I couldn't get it back up. So I was literally um, on my knees crawling and then it just smacked into the back there and knocked me down. I went straight down, canoe on top of me, whole body face down on my stomach. That was quite the scene. Um, not hurt, just my knees a little bit aggravated, but my knee was already aggravated yesterday and uh, I don't really have much to go, so it's not too bad. I'm sure I got some bruises out of that, but I don't feel, other than my knee, I don't feel like anything is uh, hurt or injured or anything like that. Anyways, um, just getting up to where my pack is. I'm going to grab it and turn around and head right back. It must have been that fall that slowed me down because uh, it's only been like eight minutes and I'm already back at my pack. So there's no way it took me 15 minutes with the canoe, but it might have because uh, I was laid out on the ground there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that took that long, but anyways, off I go. Oh, there's a little bowl or something that just went in there. I don't know if I caught that. All right. Two more portages to go, and some wading and beaver dams. Awesome stuff. All right, it is 10 to 10. I'm just making my way uh, through this little waterway here. I'm guessing this is the top of Little Eagle Lake. Really beautiful day out today. Wish I was staying longer. <laughs> Maybe just one more night on Little Eagle before I head out. It'd be nice. Alright, it is uh, 5 to 10, and I'm just uh, entering the area um, where I had to start uh, pulling the canoe through because it was too shallow. Um, it's just up ahead. I think I went through uh, the maze of <laughs> grasses there a different way this time. Um, either that or it just looked different because maybe there was a little bit more water. I don't know. But I'm all through that section now. <laughs> and I am heading towards the 60 meter as Jeff 
map calls it, um, the straight up and straight down portage. Let's see if I can make my way through here. Pretty sure I had to lift over that last time. I don't know if there was one on the other side, but there's a portage sign on this tree. Um, I was mentioning the other day how I had only seen like one or two of them, um, but there's another one. <laughs> All right, just making my way up the steep uphill. <laughs> I've got the yoke, the paddle, my big pack. My PFD and my water. Just left the canoe with the food bag back there. Just gonna carry it as is without the yoke on it. <sighs> Second last portage of the trip. The last one being the one to my car. <sighs> Pretty happy. Oh wow, this side. <laughs> This side is way steeper and longer than the other side, <laughs> uh, which is good because I'm going downhill, but you guys know how I feel about downhill. <laughs> I'm gonna go concentrate on what I'm doing here. Bye. I was wrong. Hidden in the branches of the tree, there's a portage sign there too. I think that makes like five. making my way through Little Eagle, thinking about the trip and all the awesomeness that I had. Um, I remember that this beaver dam was an up for me, so now it's going to be a down for me, so it's going to be even easier. now where the beach is. It's a really pretty beach. I took some pictures there when I came in. I'm um, hoping the sun comes back. I'm going to do my recap soon. Um, and then I just got the, I don't know, I'm calling it a 350. <laughs> 300 meter from uh, Little Eagle to the car or to the logging road. All right, it is 10.50. And I am happy to say that I am at my last portage, 24 of 24 of the trip, heading back to the uh, Eagle Lake Road, logging road, and uh, I'm excited to be here and be done my trip, but I'm also sad. Another one for the books. All right, I have just landed at the portage to Eagle Lake Road where my car is parked. And uh, I'm feeling pretty happy, um, emotional again. Uh, I get like this at the end of a trip, as some of you know. Um, that's why I'm wearing my sunglasses. Um, there were so many times that I did not think that I was gonna get through this loop. When I got to Turner and I couldn't find that portage to go into Barter um, or on the way to Barter, I was like, I'm done. I'm just gonna stay here for a couple nights, go back to Eagle, go back to Little Eagle and that's it. But uh, over and over again, somehow I found the portages two days in a row. It took me an hour to find one of them, um, but I found them, I made it through somehow and um, it was tough slog, but um, I'm really proud of myself. I'm really happy that I did this route. Um, and uh, I changed my route four or five times before this trip. Um, but uh, I did it, I'm done, I'm here, and uh, I'm so excited to be finished, but uh, I'm sad too. So um, last uh, big trip into Mogami this year um, that I know of, um, 
might do some smaller trips here still, I'm not sure. Um, we'll see, but uh, Tamagami has once again been good to me and provide, provided me with some challenging trips. This trip, um, 24 portages in total, um, 8,400 meters approximately in portages. So I've walked about, uh, I don't know, like 24 kilometers plus plus. Yeah, really good route. Six days, five nights, awesome. All right, I'm out of the boat and uh, I'm gonna get this portage knocked out. I think it took me 10 minutes each way last time, so I should be done uh, getting my canoe up on the car by 11.30 or so, and um, that's a wrap. It's hard to describe the feeling uh, if you've never done it, but it's a really big mix of being happy and sad and I wanna cry and I wanna jump up and down and I wanna laugh and I don't know. It's I'm all over the place right now. But I feel good. I feel good for what I've done. Uh, I can't believe I completed that loop. I honestly never thought I was gonna complete it. Uh, especially on Friday. And then again on Saturday. There were so many times I thought I was going back the way I came and that was it. This is me on my last portage of the trip. Yeah! Yay! So happy to be done. But also sad. <laughs> but happy too. <laughs> well, it's 11 o'clock and I am at the road with my pack. <sighs> so that portage takes about eight minutes. <laughs> um, I just finished it with the canoe. Just bringing the canoe to the other side of the gate and then I'll go grab my pack and do the same and then go get my car. All right, it's quarter after 11. Canoe and the pack are at the gate. I'm just gonna go get my car and load up. That's a wrap. See you next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.